Hello again. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about central pattern generation. And how it pertains to, to uh, Drosophila, which is a fly. And also just a little snippet about how it pertains to humans is that we have this similar system. So going back to a previous video, I talked about the patellar reflex, where we see the quadricep muscle and the uh, hamstring muscle. So when the patellar reflex is activated, we see that the hamstring muscle is going to be inhibited from being able to constrict, and this will lead to the extension of the quadricep muscle. Now, vice versa, if the um, patellar reflex is not activated we're gonna, and the knee is bent, the quadricep muscle will be um, inhibited from being constricted and the hamstring muscle will be able to constrict. So now, how this pertains to this current system with the Drosophila flies, so we see there's a... Uh, um, a muscle that leads to uh, elevation and one that leads to depression. So an input comes in, but and once this input comes in, according to this picture, we see that um, one um, synapse is going to be disproportionately favored. So in the first case, we see that A is favored. So if A is favored, then this will lead to the um, synapse going to C and the, ele the um, stimulation of the elevator uh, muscle. This will also lead to the inhibition of, of B and therefore um, a further stimulation of C. Over time, however, um, with this constant stimulation of A, there will be an overall fatigue and this fatigue will lead to less inhibition of B. When there's less inhibition of B, this will lead to a greater stimulation of B and therefore a greater stimulation of D leading to a depression uh, muscle muscle being activated. So over time, this negative feedback loop where over time when one gets activated, it will eventually become fatigued and the other one will be less inhibited and therefore more stimulated. So this feedback loop allows for there to be um, a uh, equilibrium in terms of um, when uh, the elevator muscle is activated and the depression muscle is activated. And this can lead to um, the flopping of the drosophila wings, uh, allowing for this action. Thank you.